Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's movie time. What's playing, Dan? We have the comedy classic Airplane. Yeah, I've been looking forward to watching this. It's one of those classics that have eluded me in my life. You're in for a treat. All right. I'm going to trust you then. Let's go watch this. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how I'm sitting there like, why is that familiar? Who turned on Jaws? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. We'd like you to have this flower from the Religious Consciousness Church. Would you care to make a donation? No, thanks. No, but thank you anyway. <laughs> well, give me my flower back. <laughs> Get your own flowers, hippie. There's no stopping in the white zone. Don't tell me which zone is for stopping. <laughs> Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Had to get to this. Looks like nobody's listening anyway, so. Right. Oh, Jesus. I'll be back in a minute. Did like he really just turn the meter off or on? I think he turned it off. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, Larry, where's the forklift? It's over there! Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You've been following this the whole time. <laughs> Elaine. Ted. Elaine, I've got to talk to you. I just don't want to go over it anymore. If you'll just be patient, I can work things out. I tried to help, but you wouldn't even let me do that. Come on, Ted. Yeah, be a man. It takes so many things to make love last. Most of all, it takes respect. And I can't live with the man I don't respect. I feel like she's reading straight off a script. <laughs> but okay. Is that the best acting in the world? No. Whacking material. <laughs> <laughs> was a lot of this. Yeah. Modern sperm. <laughs> what the heck kind of magazine is it? Uh, this is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago Oh, for God's sake. Tour. Look at him. <laughs> man, Ace. <laughs> She's scheduled for a heart Ooh, transplant. Oh, God. We'd like you to tell her mother that we found a donor. How is that beating? But a continuous watch <laughs> is kept on her ID. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, give oh, me no. ham on five. Hold the mail. No. <laughs> Hold the mail. <laughs> I promise I can change. When I get back to Chicago, I'm going to start my life all over again. I'm sorry. Eh, you'll be fine, Ted. Excuse me, sure. we'd like you to have this flower from the Church of Religious Consciousness. <laughs> oh, oh, no. You sure he'll be fine? I take it back. <laughs> well, there's some light scattered cover of 20,000 icing around 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, Clarence. Oh, hi, Roger. Glad to have you. Oh, it's a uh, cream out oh, of the bar. Yeah. Damn, kid. That's some light reading, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Jesus. You are a politician in training. They taught him well, didn't they? Yeah. I'd like one ticket to Chicago. Smoking or non smoking? Smoking, please. That's how you know it's an old movie. Have a nice <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> that hunky muffin mess my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down his head. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Back lot performers down, I take TCB in, man. See a brawl to get that booty act. <laughs> Leg her down and smack him, yak him. Shit. Shit. No smoking, fast and seat, but what? I know where you smoke. <laughs> Remember, you must get some rest. We're gonna get you a new heart, kid. If it's anything like the one we saw, <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah. Goodbye, darling. Oh. 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 me all the time. I swear to you. Wow. <laughs> Take off. Roger. Huh? Clear for Vector 324. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our Vector, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Here. Elaine, I've got to talk to you. You, you shouldn't have come. I don't have time now. Oh, Stuart is. Excuse me. She has a job to do. You'll have time on the flight. Yeah. She's lovely. Supple, pouting breasts. <laughs> Things used to be different. I remember when we first met. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh gosh, it's going to be a long story. <laughs> I was in the Air Force. I used to hang out at the Mogumbo Bar. It was a rough place. It's worse than Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You could count on a fight breaking out almost every night. <laughs> <laughs> Some tough customers. <laughs> oh, God. That's all right. Let them fight. <laughs> They're gonna kill each other. Oh God. <laughs> okay. And they were messing around in that fight. <laughs> no, they're not Girl Scouts anymore. Nope. Oh God. Is this all it took? <laughs> Peppa's guys around like disco, huh? There she was. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> not the eye patch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fate is on my side. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> He's like, get it out. <laughs> oh, well, he came ready for this. Okay. Okay. They're choreographed here. Nice. Yep. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> See you the damn strings. <laughs> and he does that right, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I'll give him credit. He's got moves. I expect to see some bodies. Oh, God. <laughs> sake. But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, no, no. I don't think this was necessary. Would you gentlemen care to order your dinners? Bet, babe. Slide a piece of the pole to the drinks. I run the job. <laughs> I can take grease and chomp it on some butter and drag them through the garden. Just say yes. <laughs> Excuse me. I happen to be passing. I thought you might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. What a gentleman. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Jeez. Like my man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you like that answer. What the? No. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but no. <laughs> oh, poor kid is shattered. <laughs> There's nothing in this movie that's going to live up with that. I collected all the seaweed. No, oh, God. <laughs> My orders came through. We're bombing the storage depots at Daiquiri at 1800 hours. We're coming in from the north, below their radar. Oh, man. When will you be back? I can't tell you that. It's classified. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> that's the only part that's classified. I love you, Elaine. I love you. <laughs> the fish. All the dead. Jesus. Yeah, they're alive, man. That has to be cruel. <laughs> Joey Hammond. Well, hi, Joey. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? What? what? You ever hang around the gymnasium? We better get. Yeah, back. I think we better go. <laughs> There's something wrong with his pilot. You think? <laughs> I know you. You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You play that? <laughs> I'm sorry, son, but you must have me confused with someone else. I think you're the greatest, but my dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. <laughs> <laughs> And that you don't really try, except during the playoffs. Damn, <laughs> the hell I don't. <laughs> Listen, kid, I'm out there busting my buns every night. Oh, Tell shit. Tell your old man to drag Walton in the near up and down the court for 48 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, kid. <laughs> you like movies about gladiators. Oh. <laughs> what is with these questions? You shouldn't bring children around him. No, I don't think so either. I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. All I have how I used to sit on your face and wrinkle and... Oh, wow. Oh, why? I miss you insist on living in the past. Man, sometimes the past is a good place to live if it's like that. <laughs> yeah, but his is like this, too. You clearly survived this. <laughs> yes, he did. Psychiatric. What is that? Pentothal? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my! Wow. Wow. What is that a baby? Yeah, uh, is that something from Chop Chop at Thunder? Kinda. From that raid. Seven Lieutenant Zip died this morning. Hopefully he does. <laughs> Take five. Oh well. Oh my God! What? There's too much going on here. It, Jesus. Yeah, there is. It's Lieutenant Hurwitz thinks he's Ethel Merman. <laughs> You'll <laughs> be swell. Oh, I have news for you. <laughs> I think he's got a case. I traveled the banks of the river of Jordan. Not bad. <laughs> Everybody's into yeah. it. In the flight entertainment. <laughs> What's this? The heck? There is only one river. Oh, oh no. Oh no, what have you done to her? She's gonna put this in on her own. <laughs> She's gonna have to. Oh. oh, thank God for that. Oh, oh no. Why? <laughs> Wish the mother caught on that time. Jesus. She ain't gonna make it. Well, Where the hell did he come from? Is... Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. <laughs> He's gonna hang himself. Too. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> also, Tupperware products oh, are ideal for... You're selling your Tupperware to them? I started them on simple calisthenics and gradually worked them up to rudimentary game skills and finally advanced... <laughs> rudimentary game skills? 
I was patient with them, and they were eager to learn. You are a liar, is what you are. <laughs> teaching techniques that we were just found an Olympic team in the middle of the woods, right? Elaine had doubts about our relationship, and that, as much as anything else, led to my drinking problem. <laughs> That's your drinking problem? That's a problem, all right. Can't get it. You know, he's. I really oh no. Blame Elaine oh. For the no! <laughs> he chose seppuku instead of the story. Quit telling people stories! Yes? Oh, it's my stomach. I haven't felt this awful since we saw that Ronald Reagan film. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, one of the woman passengers is very sick. Find out if there's a doctor on board as quietly as you can. No. Why is he back here? Joey, have you ever been in a, in a Turkish prison? What? What? What kind of question is that for a kid? He's going Midnight Express with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Stewardess. I think the man sitting next to me is a doctor. Excuse me, sir. You a doctor? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ugh, what is that? Is that an egg? <laughs> okay. You doing magic tricks now? <laughs> what is going on here? This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients. <laughs> oh, for... <laughs> what? Uh, Victor, we're running into some heavy weather. Can you... Everyone's getting Roger, sick. Take over. Is there like some kind of pandemic on this plane? Something's wrong. But it's only affecting certain passengers. How soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. <laughs> okay. August closed down everything this side of the mountains. We've mm. got to get through to Chicago. Guess it's done. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the hell happened to him? Where'd the glasses come from? Look at him. What the heck? He's got his Lakers gear on. <laughs> what was it we had for dinner tonight? Steak, fish. Yes, yes, I remember I had lasagna. Oh, <laughs> where'd that come from? Well, the dinner has something to do with it, okay. That's what it sounds like. We're now flying over Hoover Dam. <laughs> and a little later on, we'll pass. <laughs> They're all just minding their business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stewardess, my husband's very sick. Can you do something, please? Do you know what he had for dinner? Of course, we both had fish. Uh-oh. Well, she's okay. Dr. Rumick, Mr. Hammond ate fish, and Randy said there are five more cases, and they all had fish, too. Yep, it's fish. Why is everybody eating fish on this flight? Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Just us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the fish they fed you? A whole fish? As the virus penetrates red blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy, causing severe muscle spasms. Followed by the inevitable drooling. No, oh god, good god. Accompanied by uncontrollable flagellants. <laughs> Wasted piece of jelly. <laughs> he shat himself. <laughs> Jell up the heck. Oh yeah, here we go. That's what we came to see. Automatic <laughs> pilot. There it is. What the hell? <laughs> oh, look at that. I mean, he's got it. I'll go back to the passengers. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot be your answer for this. Captain Overs passed out on the floor and we've lost the call pilot. Roger, Elaine. Roger, I read you. This is Steve McCroskey at Chicago Air Control. Back to you in a minute. Hold all takeoffs. Oh, my God. I recognize him from uh, Hot Shots. Yeah. Stan, go upstairs to the tower and get a runway time. Are hey. they conjoined? Yeah, they are. For emergency equipment. <laughs> <laughs> No possible place they can land. They'll have to come through to Chicago. It's like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check your elder. 35,000 feet. No way. Uh oh. Is he deflating? Yep. Oh my God, the automatic pilot, it's deflating. <laughs> <laughs> On the belt line of the automatic pilot, there is a hollow tube. No. Pull it out and blow on No. <laughs> I know where that's going. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is he doing? Giving birth? I guess so. <laughs> no! <laughs> if your boyfriend comes in here and sees this... <laughs> That's the doctor. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. Just go right back in. Wait your turn. <laughs> He's not real happy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. She's oh, smoking. God. So is he. <laughs> is there anyone on board who can land this plane? <laughs> can get over his drinking problem. Yeah, that's what I noticed. The life of everyone on board depends upon just one thing. Finding someone back there who can not only fly this plane, but who didn't have fish for dinner. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Let me your options. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, is there anyone? 
anyone on board who knows how to fly a plane. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's the appropriate reaction? Yep. None? What the hell are you doing? Everyone's gonna die, so he turns into a crusade. Hello, I'm Paul Carey from the airline. I'm here to pick up Captain Kramer. Oh yes, come in, Paul. <laughs> Hello, boy. Are you a pilot yourself? No, I'm in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that dog's gonna kill him. Yeah. The dog's going for the throat. <laughs> yeah, yes. All right, let's get out of here. Hello, Mr. Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> oh, my God. That is him from the Unsolved Mysteries. Yeah. yeah. When they built those roads, they no. had the thought of draining. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't pour it on yourself. Oh, my God. He's going to kill all the passengers in this plane by himself. <laughs> These stories aren't worth that. There's been a little problem in the cockpit. Do you know anything about planes? Please yeah, go. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> the stewardess said. <laughs> can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know about that. I have a name. I know nothing about flying. You're the only chance we've got. Hey man, that's some hero shit there. Yep. Come on, how hard can it be? Yeah, Otto's doing it. <laughs> This guy's still out there in the cab. That's ridiculous. Look at the oh, fare. <laughs> Should have walked out all a long time ago. Need a free landing flight check. Tell him I'm in the dispatch office and I wanted your fax. It's your wife. I want the kids in bed by night. I want the dog fed. The Man, he's a <laughs> multitasker there. You got his life in order, at least. Yeah. <laughs> well done, sir. <laughs> this must turn on the landing lights. Nope. Oh, that's too bad. Mayday! What the hell is that? Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know, we'll have a. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. I've got to get out of here. Oh, down. Get a hold of yourself. Please let me handle this. <laughs> Dude. Whoa. Oh. No. I'll take care of this. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Everybody's taking a turn. Oh, Everybody's lined, lined up. <laughs> up. <laughs> He's got a wrench. Good God. A gun. No. I can't get... gonna kill this woman. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, would you... Hmm. Out of the way. Donation to the Reverend Moon. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> <for> Jesus. <laughs> Read about Jehovah's Witness. Damn. Jeez. <laughs> Not his first rodeo. The whole story there, Rex. <laughs> Everything we know. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. <laughs> you'll have to talk him onto the approach. So help me, you'll have to talk him right down to the ground. Is that a watermelon? Yes. I got took the wrong week to quit drinking. No, not this, too. <laughs> Picked the wrong week to quit smoking and drinking. He gave up all his habits, and now he's going to get back on him. This is Captain Rex Kramer speaking. Yes, Captain Kramer. What do you say you and I just forget about everything except what we have to do now? No love lost between them, huh? Mm -mm. You ever flown a motor engine plane before? No, never. Shit. <laughs> Goddamn waste of time. There's no way you can land it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to unlock the automatic pilot. Uh, yeah, you have something to talk about when it comes to this automatic <laughs> Oh my god! He's just floating around. He's got right in his face. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yes, the stewardess is here with me. Good. Got a grip, man. <laughs> He's back for seconds. What's going on? We have a right to know the truth. All right, I'm going to level with you all. There's no reason to panic. Hmm. <laughs> It's true that one of the crew members is ill. Slightly ill. <laughs> so just fine. They're at the controls. That damn thing is getting <laughs> longer. Good God. You do what I tell you. There's no reason why you shouldn't have complete confidence in your chances to come out of this thing alive. Is that a turkey vulture? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get you something? It's your mofo butter laying into the bone, James. So it's some bad fish sticks. <laughs> oh, stewardess. I speak jive. <laughs> Just hang loose, blood. She's gonna catch up on the rebound out of meds. <laughs> ah. But my mama raised no dummies. I duck a rap. Cut me some slack, Jack. Oh, say, cut me. <laughs> Chomp don't wanna help. Chomp don't get the care. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Mrs. Over, this is Ed Macias calling from the airport. There's some trouble on your husband's flight. We don't know how serious it is yet. But Steve McCroskey's the horse? horse? Oh, I don't wanna know. <laughs> I've got to go to the airport. You can let yourself out the back door. <laughs> um, she's got some interesting tastes. Sheesh. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. No, no. Oh, God. <laughs> You're a straight fiend, man. He's on everything. Yeah. Who's flying the plane? One of the passengers. 
But he's an experienced Air Force pilot. Is that an ice cream? I guess so. Let's get some pictures. Let's just get the, the pictures. pictures. <laughs> That'll look nice in your study. Stricken airliner approaching Chicago. This is no picture of a plane. Man. Head to Stryker. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> okay. Would you like a little whiskey, man? Certainly not. Oh, no. Oh, she wants something harder. Oh, God. Damn, she took two lines. <laughs> well, that'll get her through this flight. <laughs> She's judging the other guy. <laughs> Randy, are you all right? I've never been so scared. Besides, I'm 26 and I'm not married. Thanks for telling us that. Yes. <laughs> yes. How are you bearing up? To be honest, I've never been so scared. At least I have a husband. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worst time. Survive this gym. <laughs> no. <laughs> Boss number four. When Kramer hears about this, the shit's gonna hit the fan. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Come on, Joe, pull it together. No. We gotta land this plane. <laughs> I was crazy to think I could land this plane. I don't have what it takes. <laughs> Come on. I wanna tell you something. I was in the war myself, medical corps. All right. Brought in a badly wounded pilot from one of the raids. He said, the odds were against us up there, but we went in anyway. The pilot's name was George Zip. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Last thing he said to me, sometime, the crew is up against it. Tell them to get out there and give it all they've got. And win just one for the zipper. For the zipper. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me, Doc. That was the inspiration he needed? I've got a plane I guess, to land. Uh, I know where he pulled that out from, but it worked. Small world, huh? Yeah. I'll take it, Elaine. Get out of here, and don't touch my girl again. <laughs> Listen to me, Kramer. We've got to land now. I'm ordering you to stay up there. No dice, Chicago. I'm giving the orders, and we're coming in. I guess the foot's on the other hand now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're certain to die. Airline negligence. There's a sale at Penny's. <laughs> Stand by, Stryker. We're going to the tower. The tower? Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Get out of here, you're fired. <laughs> Seriously, what are you doing around here? How soon do we land? It won't be long now. Try not to worry. Oh, no. <laughs> why, why are you showing this to the passenger? <laughs> Captain Lukrowski, this is Captain Roberts, Captain Kramer. Oh, my. What is this? <laughs> Gonna do a coin flip? <laughs> Looks like it. Husband and the others are alive. But unconscious, just like Gerald Ford. <laughs> wow. Damn. <laughs> Airport business acquisitions one and two. Damn. Airport position. Budweiser. <laughs> Ice cream trucks. Air Israel, please. Come Air Israel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't think folks are going to like that one right now. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad timing. And when I give the word, pull the cord on the right side flat. <laughs> Is that duck? <laughs> I love it. How's it flows? I wanted you to know I'm very proud. There you go. Captain, uh, maybe we ought to turn on the searchlights now. Oh, that's just what they'll be expecting us to do. What? what? Yes, because you need it. What kind of conspiracy bullshit is that? <laughs> I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Land too fast, use your emergency brakes. Red handles right in front of you. <laughs> Look at her. He <laughs> doesn't stop. <laughs> Danger excites her. Sure is quiet out there. Yeah, too quiet. Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit sniffing blue. Damn. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> he is doing it all. Well, he doesn't have a stress problem anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. There it is. There he is. Hit the lights. All right, now, everybody, get in crash position. What? <laughs> Good God. What are you doing? What are you hanging from? I don't know. Shit has really escalated. 
Why would like you do that? Oh my god. Just kidding. Oh, for God's sake. No, he said just kidding. He's coming right at us! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped out the damn window. Good god. He's all over the place. You can't land like that. Eyes are down. Down. Right. <laughs> oh, it worked. It's fine. He just... <laughs> uh -oh. You got no brakes. <laughs> I want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. You thanks. <laughs> We're on the ground. What the hell? <laughs> That's some stress. <laughs> now arriving gate eight, gate nine, gate ten. <laughs> He's gonna move. Yeah. <laughs> it's the longest damn runway. Lucky him. Good God. That's some serious sweating. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh. hell? What the hell? <laughs> Gate 23, 24. Jesus. You can't be serious here. Yeah. Oh, the plane is down. It's down. It didn't explode, so everything's good. Anyone you can walk away from, huh? Yeah, exactly. Striker, you all right? We're okay. Ted, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airplane. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Some of us here, particularly me, would like to buy you a drink and shake your hand. Don't say no to free booze, man. Yeah. Ted, I just want you to know that when the going got rough... <laughs> oh, no. He missed the reconciliation. Yeah. <laughs> Never happy as a child. Oh. Christmas, Ted, what does that mean to you? He was a living hell. I want to hang myself. <laughs> Lord, I picked a bad day to quit drinking. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have a nice day. Oh, no. <laughs> that poor girl. No, no. Yes, you didn't make it. If only you knew where that, what she was doing earlier with that. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, fam, but she, he has the right to know. Ted, I'm pregnant. It's the autopilot song. <laughs> no, explain that one. <laughs> oh. Where's he going? He saluted. He's out of here. <laughs> you have no wheels. Why are you trying to take off? I don't know what this is. Oh. He made it. <laughs> okay. Son of a bitch. He just hijacked that black. <laughs> hey, uh -oh. hey, all right. <laughs> He's got a Mrs. Pilot. <laughs> he winked. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Yeah, we freaking knew that was true. <laughs> is that Notre Dame's Fighting Irish song? That is. It might be. Yeah. Ted Stryker. No, that's a pilot's name. Yeah, there. right. Yep, Robert Stack. Robert Stack, yeah. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, they got something again. Well, I'll give him another 20 minutes, but that's it. <laughs> really? Come on, man. It's been like four hours. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Oh, my God, I'm so glad I watched that. Okay, fam, I'm sorry. I know I lost it there for a minute, but it was a culmination of everything, okay? It literally just kind of, kind of all came to a head. So, Joe, how do you like your coffee? <laughs> I actually do take cream in my coffee, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm going to try this on an airplane once. Oh, God. <laughs> I would not recommend trying any of this stuff on an actual airplane. <laughs> Maybe none of that, but, I mean, the coffee's probably okay. <laughs> Maybe. They, no, the stewardess probably wouldn't let you get away with it, but still. Yeah. I know it's like when you hear that, at least I have a husband bit. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not the funniest joke ever, but after everything that was completely ridiculous, I lost it there. <laughs> they were constantly setting up jokes throughout this whole movie. It was great. Yeah. That was one of the, that was incredibly brilliant. Yeah. This movie. The comedy is ridiculous. I mean, some of it's really, really brilliant. Some of it's just kind of stupid, but you, you, you take it. I love that they weren't afraid to do it, though. Yeah. It just reminds you of days gone by that probably never gonna happen again. Yeah. Like the stuff like the watermelon falling out of the ceiling, like, yeah, it really doesn't do anything for you. It's just something going on in the background. But shit hitting the fan. There. Yeah. Hey, come on, that was glorious. Yeah. Oh, God, the jokes. Is there like a sequel to this one? There is. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> is it good? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. I mean, I think the first one's probably better, but the second one's still pretty good. All right. Maybe we'll get to it one of these days, fam. You let us know. It's got a. Oh, what's his name? From Star Trek, the original Star Trek, the captain. Oh, Shatner? Yeah. He's in it, okay. Yeah, he's in it. Because the, the second one takes place in space. 
What? Yeah, it's on a space shuttle. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> well, that's already worth it, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. The cast was great. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I loved the... I couldn't believe how well he did, played that role. It was a small role, but yeah, yeah, it was really fun, especially when the kids in there taunting him. <laughs> just grabbed that kid and said, like, try taking him up the court every night. Yeah. Kids over there just like, and he says, you don't play defense. <laughs> yeah. Like, look, I've been putting up with this since I was at UCLA. I'll tell you who shouldn't, who shouldn't have had children near him was that damn pilot. Oh, yeah, Peter Graves. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was some sketchy stuff. That's the one thing about this movie, is there's some really odd stuff in it that really makes you think, like, I don't know, that's a bit dark. Yeah, right. Didn't they say this movie was PG at the beginning? Yeah, that was not PG at all. Yeah, some topless girl walks by, some ladies does two lines of coke. <laughs> Rampant alcohol use. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I heard a shite a few times. Guys uh, sniffing glue there. Yeah. Doing methamphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very loose definition of PG. Different time. Good lord, because nowadays on the ratings, like especially like if you go to Disney Plus or something, yeah. if there's even a hint of cigarette smoke in there, they let you know that it's part of the rating. Just the nudity would have made this R. Yeah, and that would have been like, that would have been making audiences blush. Yeah. So, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, the whole autopilot too. <laughs> God. It wasn't, even, it wasn't even an actual actor, but you still really love the character. <laughs> Who thought of that? Like, <laughs> to reinflate him. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, they're both smoking. That's how you know this was written by a man. <laughs> I love uh, that his name was Otto, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Otto the autopilot. Yeah. Makes sense, yeah. It's perfect. Did you see the fish that they were actually serving? It was like a whole damn fish. Yeah. Come on, it's ridiculous. Well, it wasn't even cooked by everybody sick. All they needed to do was hit the ground, really. That would have been all they needed. Just hit the ground and start puking. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Maybe I don't know. Maybe some antibiotics would have helped, but still. They insisted on getting them to the hospital, so it must have been worse than that, but... They probably got to pump their stomachs, but yeah. People were puking on the plane. It didn't seem to help. At least we didn't see that. <laughs> we thought we saw it a few times. Well, we didn't see the puke. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Count your blessings on that one. Mm -hmm. See, so people doing lines of coke, but <laughs> still. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's no big deal. I can handle that. <laughs> yeah, right. All that dude, that dude had so many flashbacks. Ted Stryker. Oh, yeah. And every time he was telling his story, somebody was offing themselves in a different way. Grandma hung herself. Uh, one guy went the Japanese warrior way there. The other guy almost burned himself up and then did anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Didn't matter. The stories weren't that bad. But it's like it, you know that's how one of the ways you know this is a comedy because mm -hmm. it's like you keep switching seats. Yeah. To sit with these people and tell them your story. <laughs> it's like, come on, man, they're not gonna let you do this. <laughs> For such a short movie, they packed in so much. It was just one joke after another. It was ridiculous. Fam, I don't know how much I keep thinking that these edit projects are gonna be the death of me. This one might actually be it. <laughs> you almost died watching it. I know. Let alone having to edit. That's how you know it's a good movie, though. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to make some very, very tough decisions, I think. I think so. And we apologize in advance, fam, if you missed any of your favorite jokes, but something had to get cut. I won't miss any of the ones that are the biggest ones, and I'll go back and find out which ones are the biggest ones, for sure. And there are certain ones that are pretty much famous at this point, too, so... Yeah. Watch the, watch me delete them anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> and don't call me Shirley. Nope, not in there. Yeah, no. <laughs> of course it'll be in there, fam. Uh, <laughs> you can count on that. Fam, we can sit here and talk about how funny this movie was, but I think you get it. If there was anything that we missed, and I'll bet there was, like an actor or somebody that, that happened to be making a cameo, please let us know. Uh, it'd be great to know that. I loved Leslie Nielsen in this, too, by the way. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, if you know something we don't, please uh, please enlighten us, guys. We love hearing about that, too. But as always, if you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing and helping us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one. Should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials, more on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. But until next time, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you. Later, guys.